processing conditions. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the screw profile design. Okay, uh, a screw profile maybe is the is the core of, of, of compounding because this the screw profile is the main player of the process. So depending on the screw profile that we have assembled, we will have better or worse dispersion. Uh, now I'm going to summarize it in different songs of the screws uh, and uh, the main, uh, let's say, missions of each screw element. So we, in the screw profile, we have mixing zone and conveying zones, uh, summarizing. Anyway, I have divided the screw profile in different zones. We, here we have, <coughs> sorry, the fitting zone when we are receiving um, most of times the plastic in pellet sh shape. We have the melting zone. After that, we have the uh, side fitting, the disperse, dispersive zone that can be, in this case, is very intensive. We've separated with a lot of length. And after one, the mixing or which is called distributive zone. This is dispersive zone and this is mixing or distributive zone. After vacuum for venting and after pressurizing for, uh, for uh, pressure buildup. For, for increasing the pressure uh, when we are, uh, let's say, extruding uh, the filaments. So for each, each mission in our machine, we need at least four diameters. So uh, if we need, for instance, if we have to increase the venting capacity of our machine, adding here a venting port, we will need to add a barrel of four diameters. So we'll increase the length of the extruder to 40 diameters. If we need to add another side feeding uh, port, we need to put, for instance, here, uh, afterwards, the, the, the venting zone, uh, uh, let's say, side feeder. So another four diameters, and we will have 44 diameters length. So this is the rule of thumb. The more things that you want to do with your machine, 